<laughs> you look so sad. Alright, I don't remember specifically how to how to deal with this mini boss. Okay, so what I want is for him to turn around after he unfreezes. Again, I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do this, but it's the way I'm doing it. Hello, hello everybody! My name is Nick Fox, and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. We are in Jabu Jabu's belly, moving on with the third dungeon. It's... <laughs> Sorry, when I've done the first two dungeons twice in the span of, like, three days, it's kind of hard to remember where I'm at. But I've, I've edited, uh, one or two of the two videos from the last session. Sorry, my brain's a little bit in three places here. I edited two of the videos down, and they seem fine. So, and everything seems to be still working properly, so that's good. Hey, what's up? You, who are you? I am Rudo, Princess of the Zelda. I could ask you that same question. Are you saying my father asked you to come and save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh-huh, sure you don't. Father's worried about me? I don't care. Of course you don't. Can't go home right now. Goodbye. Okay, okay now that was obvious. <laughs> you fell for a very obvious trap, and I gotta come down there and get you. You still hanging around here? I told you to go away. Well, you know, I don't pay very good instructions. English. <laughs> oh, Jabba Jabba was very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was... But that's none of your business. Uh -huh. You go home? No, I'm not going anywhere. You're that worried about me? No. But plot says I have to be. And I'll give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. Well, and now we're stuck with her. At least she doesn't like actively get in the way like some NPCs do. She just kind of sits down and is like, okay, you do, you do what you need to do, I'm just here. I don't think I can do anything about him. Just current situation, okay. It's been quite a while since I've gone through this dungeon, so I don't remember entirely on how to do things. Yeah, I'm gonna hit that gold skull Tolo while I'm here. I can hear him skittering around up there. Probably have to get Rudo to the other side first, and then do this, but... I'll take that, thank you. Oh, I didn't realize I had the bottle set. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I guess, I guess it doesn't matter, but... Grab the fairy anyway. Oh well. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over one fairy. Not like this dungeon's that hard, anyway. Ow. Not like this dungeon's that hard. It immediately takes damage. Every time I say something like that, it always comes back to bite me. Every single time. I was such as life, I suppose. Thank you. I'm gonna get too close to these things. Okay. And boom goes the dynamite. Alright. Nice and simple, nothing too complicated. Still an early game dungeon, so I shouldn't have too much to worry about. Uh, ah, hi. I wanted to put you down, not throw you, but... Anyway. 
Rudo, I will come back for you. Maybe. Hopefully. If I don't forget, I'll come back for you. And if I don't forget to care, of course. Ah. Okay, what do you got? Uh, Deku Nuts, five pieces for 20 rupees. Okay, cool. I didn't need those, but thank you. Oh, there's the platform. I just had to wait for it. I thought I had to activate the platform. No, I just had to wait for it to come down. Hold on, let me give me give me one quick second here. This won't take more than a couple moments. That's ah, a little too red. I just looked at OBS and I realized how much grayer the game looks compared to what I'm actually playing on. I'm playing on a different monitor. There used to be no fixing that, so tried. <laughs> the red was a little too saturated, so I guess we can live with things looking a little bit dull. Not not for lack of trying, everybody. He just watched me attempt it. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of options for me to work with, either. There's a filter or something, right? Probably a filter. Yeah, it's probably a filter, but no. If I go looking for filters, we'll be here all day. Okay, I'm supposed to go back through this way. So I just tried for a little bit to fix with the filters in my video settings because I, I don't know why this level looks so weirdly dark. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. And I can't make it work. I've tried making it look better and it just ends up making it look a different kind of bad. So we're just kind of going to have to deal with this and what we got. There's no, there's no real fix in the colors for this. I tried. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I don't have the boomerang, so I can't do this. Of course. It's supposed to look a lot more reddish, I think. Yeah, yeah, how can I leave you behind? If someone had to stay on the switch, Rudo. Shot link, electricity is running through this red slime thing. I know, Navi, I can see that. <laughs> Nothing to do that way. Switch, it doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight. Navi. I know. <laughs> anyway. How about you aim at the ones attacking you, Link? There you go. I hate how the whole room jiggles when the when my slingshot just hits the wall. Yeah. Jiggling, it's so creepy. Take the boom right now, please, thank you. Use it to attack distant enemies. Okay. It's slingshot, but doesn't require ammo. So I gotta go back to this other room on the other side. Excuse me, weird tapeworm things. Ew. 
Here we go. Are you tentacle? Question mark. <laughs> hmm. You think, Navi? I got it close enough for it to want to attack me. There you go. One down. Map? Map! Yay! Okay. So just a fun sake. Well, this is only a two-floor dungeon. This is a pretty short dungeon. I guess we are in a creature. <laughs> Creatures can only be so big. No, Link, that's not what I wanted you to do. Appreciate your enthusiasm, buddy, but... Rudo, if you're gonna scold me every time I, I see you, I'm just not gonna come talk to you anymore. Red slimy thing is gone just because you cut the red tail. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know why there's a time limit in this particular room. Oh. Damn it. One more? Yeah, okay. Back here trying to get it, Rudo. This must be the compass. I thought everything is just in one kind of condensed area in this dungeon. Like all the treasures and stuff. And hey look, Rito, I didn't leave you behind this time. Aren't you glad about that? Nah. -huh. So what you're saying is I didn't actually need to go into that room. So the red tail is responsible for blocking two different doors. And here's the other tails. And I get nothing for doing that one. It's just, uh, yeah, you know what happens now. <laughs> Oh god. Got a little too close to that one. Oh, another tail. Okay. Okay. The Z targeting is not the most accurate thing. I get that it's Nintendo 64. Yeah, I have no idea where the green tail was supposed to be. Uh, I don't know. When do I need to go back down, I think is the question. Possibly. Sorry, I keep saving. I'm not I'm not a super compulsive saver like that. I, I'm used to pressing the B button to get out of the <laughs> to get out of the pause menu and that's just the save option. I'm not trying to, to waste time on purpose.
I don't think I could make that jump, so I think I gotta go back down. Uh, so these all seem to lead to the same, same room below me. I guess I'll take this one. Or I guess I'll take this one! Sorry, Link. Something. Damn it. Sit down. Now, this isn't a difficult dungeon, but man, if things aren't uh, not cooperating with me right now, I'm going to use this fairy because. Well, I was just going to use that fairy, and I just decided it didn't want to be here. Mine now. Thankfully that... That grab goes through walls. There you. And I want to go that western room there. Here a Skultola. Yeah, but I have, to, I have to get over there first. Okay. Just a matter of dropping down the right pot pitfall here. That was the thing. The, the tail was in here. I had to cut it. Rudo, you were just downstairs. I was literally coming. Well. Rudo, I'm not sorry. Oh, the beeping. The incessant beeping. The worst thing about Legend of Zelda. The incessant beeping. This is just unfortunate. I found the skull Tulla. Just kept through the flesh of the of the, the whole Jabba Jabba, why don't we? Go tell the tokens. Okay, do I need Rudo for this? Yes. Okay. That's that's the that's the spiritual stone of water. That's what what Rudo lost. I think I've already killed these guys enough times. They're not going to drop any more hearts. Which. Is is unfortunate because his boss, the mini boss in that room, kind of sucks. Ow! Really, buddy? Like you're just the most unfortunately placed jellyfish in this entire dungeon. Unfortunate for me, and I'm. Link, there is an enemy right there. Target it. 
Good God! Like, the Z-targeting in this game is just... If there's something there, I see it there, Link sees it there, but he just... He doesn't target it unless it's, like, right in the middle of the screen. Which is kind of annoying. Sorry, I was taking a drink. There you go. Take your thing there, Rudo. Princess Rudo got the spiritual stone, but why Princess Rudo? I think we can kind of figure that out. My goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. Now that I found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. Take me home right now. I'd love to. I don't want to be in here anymore either. Hmm. That's like fun. Hi. You look so sad. I don't remember specifically how to how to deal with this mini boss. I remember this mini boss is kind of annoying though. Turn around. Okay. Crap. Okay, so what I want is for him to turn around after he unfreezes. Easier than chasing after him, but it's kind of a gamble. You don't want to stand too close to him. Again, I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do this, but it's the way I'm doing it. Come on. I don't think I don't think he finished spinning. Uh -uh. Yeet. <laughs> nice. And I got on my health back. Right, what's up? Right, let's get rid of and get out of here. Oh, Deku nuts. <laughs> yeah, Deku nuts might have been somewhat useful. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, a boomerang does the same thing. Hello, fairy. this unfreeze because I don't I don't wanna okay, so I can't I can't freeze them while they're not wiggling. I gotta wait for them to wiggle. There's nothing here I'm missing, I don't think so. We can deal with that. Where do you? Thank <laughs> you. 
Can't wait to get a bow and arrow. I don't like the boomerang. At least, at least in uh, Wind Waker, I get like a little reticle to show where I'm fixing to throw the boomerang. In Arena, you just kind of have to wing it. Which is, I can work with with the bow and the uh, bow and the slingshot, but the boomerang is, I don't know, something about it just feels different. Let's go, Tola. I'm gonna try to get to 20 skull tullas before we uh, get the master sword. I know the 20 skull tulla doesn't get me anything. I think it's like the, the rumble pack thing, which is an accessory I don't have. Hey, what do you do? When I say try to get to 20, I make no promises. <laughs> just uh, just an attempt. Hmm. Yes, Zappy. Mini Zappies. Oh boy. Hmm. I love how it looks like some kind of big biological reactor thing. It looks very Metroid-y. Oh, that's a game I should play on uh, stream. Metroid Prime. Fuck Metroid Prime. Well, I will get to you in a minute. I thought this is uh, very kind of similar to the uh, Forbidden Woods boss in Wind Waker. with the cutting of the tentacles holding it up and such. Oh. I think maybe I could sneak my, my boomerang in there. Well then. Oh. Get, get a little too close. That's on me though. Ow! I don't remember this guy actually being any sort of difficult. You know what? I have an idea. Yeah, I was kind of stupid to think that would work. Okay, yeah, the jellyfish eventually just kind of slow down. Ow. Really? Only two jellyfish left, but I still managed to hit one of them. Ow. He doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay. Come on, bud. We'll go again. Ow. Uh, mini parasite. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I already figured that out, maybe. There we go. Yeesh. Without dissolving to meat jello. There's the heart container. Alright. What's up, Bruno? How did you get here, Bruno? You're late. What took you so long? You're useful. I just saved your life, sweetheart. It was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Yeah, sure. Keep telling yourself that.
Okay, personal space, Rita. Right personal space. Hi. You you looked cool, cooler than I thought you would anyway, just a little. Well anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. The spiritual stone? Duh. The yeah, spiritual stone of water, Zora's sapphire, don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. Ew. The most precious possession of Zora's sapphire. What is it with Link and constantly getting crushed on by Zora girls? As far as I know, it's only happened like twice, but it's weird that it's happened twice. Hmm. I got the thing. Spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Most precious possession, you don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. I'm pretty sure Link understands the concept of a prized possession. Okay. Again, I thought that was a dash, not a dive. Okay. We've got uh, Zora Sapphire, been through Jabba Jabba's belly. That's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like to let me know. Comment what you're thinking about the game so far. Subscribe for more of this game coming your way very soon. Uh, my goal is to try to get these out every other day. But, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> that's the plan, anyway. Whether or not that's what happens, that's the plan, anyway. Um, yep, I think that's just about it. Next, next video, uh, before we get the Master Sword, there's a couple other things I want to do. We're going to go into that Fairy Fountain over there. I'm going to try to find two more Gold Skull Tullas. I'm going to go back to the Deku Tree and Dodongo's Cavern, because I know there's a Gold Skull Tuller or two in there. I just want to go ahead and grab them before I forget. But anyway, thank you everybody again so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video.